I want to see the Alliance map. I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north. From your old friend, Vili. Vili? A name I've not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Vili asks that you join him in feast and celebration, in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It will be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go? I will leave for Snottinghamshire today. Good. They will be pleased. my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trygvi, you old hound, how are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. Ah, but a healthy Jarl beard it is not. And what of Billy? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Billy's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Heminger Jarl looks to finish the job. I have not fought beside Billy and his father since we were young. They have my blade if they need it. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Billy's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Heminger Jarl is an ox. So he is, and he'll be pleased to skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come, the swiftest path is by river, but these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the Wolfkist to the encampment. I've traveled far, spilling the dew of slaughter. A reputation is the price of victory. Aha! Indeed! the sea beasts. Eivor Wolfkist is here to escort us upriver. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when Billy and I were small children. You spun many epic yarns for us over the hearth fire. But I do not remember you telling us how you came to serve Heming a Jarl. Is it a tale worth telling? It is, but a sad one. I suppose I was Sail. the age you are now. Catch the wind. Skadi had sent us a harsh winter, and much of our clan was starving. To feed us, my family incurred a large burden. But my youth rendered me too Run proud to pay it off. I wanted to raid, not toil. 
For my failure, Heming Gigyar would have taken what he wanted from me. Picks ashore! Protect the convoy! Ready, boats. Bows! Fire! 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 Ready! Fire! 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 Ready! Fire! Fire! Bows! Fire! Ready! Fire! Are you feeling all right? Ready, bows! Bows! Fire! 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 Come, shit, bats are swear! Ready! Picked on the rich! Got the convoy! Fire! Ready, boats! Fire! 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 Careful, Eivor! These supplies bring fire to the Ukathorpe siege! Ready, bow! You die now! Fire! <laughs> Bows! Fire! Bows! Fire! What are you doing? The convoy remains, Wolfkist! Oars! Back us around! The convoy is laid bare! Heming will be pleased! Ready! Fire! Let the sail Leader. out! Sail down! Leader. We need an epic tale. Some years ago, I took to sea with a sword dancer called Aeon. A brooding warrior with a Sail face out. of stone and oak-hard arms. On a raid in Korla, we shored up along the edge of a forest and explored until we came to people parts. A large farm. It was night and all Sail. were asleep. So we set about plundering the place with quiet of taking sheep and goats as we pleased.
It was then that Ail saw a farm hand and pressed the boy for the family. Let's put her in silver. here. We can continue later. Hold on to Our camp is just ahead, so hurry on without me. Lily and Hemingway Yarl will be pleased to see you. Shred my sheepskin. That there is Eivor the wolf beast. Eivor! Hail! We have not laid eyes on you for some ten winters now. Hail, friend. The Picts cower. Muster the men for Freya's kiss. You came. Welcome. Your son sent for me, Heming Yayal. One of the happier messages I've had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifor. Strong. Healthy. My heart sings as well. It's good to see you again. Uh, yours is a poet's heart, I am told. What a mix of spirits you have. Movement on the walls! We must end this soon. Before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. These men are flies for swatting. Even now, Drakefi rides for Stonebur. Should any Picts escape, it will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You have known me as your Jarl for an age. And I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden to bear. Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. You're not slurring, Billy. Have you mislaid your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerthorp. Trick V and Eivor have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts. To feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower, their war chief's weapon in hand, drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Vili. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my calloused hands? You can have your glory, Vili. I'm here to support you and your father. Such humility. Where is the Eivor I once knew? Old times, then. And new alike. Fight, Heminger sons! Bring victory today, for tomorrow we feast! May they burn with flame unbridled! The big chief hides behind his men like a cow. I have no doubt he will be well fortified. I will have a pet for him in the Billy and the wolves fight by our sides again!
Month of your father's mead. You're injured. No, no, stop, stop. I'm fine. There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Heminger. Only care and bandages. My clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The hearts in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. my son all the more, but he lacks the trust of our Danes, and I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick. And you accept it. Unlike my son, he thinks me immortal because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Billy who summoned me, or you, Heminger? I thought you would come faster if it was Vili's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it, of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Trigvi, a fine man with a mind for leadership. But his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. I have known Billy since we were small. He's bold and courageous, and your warriors love the man. The nobles should choose him. Your sight is clear and your mind is sharp. Let that guide your thinking in the days to come. Philly departs for kinder downfall soon. Ride with him. And talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer.
Vili. There you are. Come. Ride with me to the falls. They are Freya's gifts to these unforgiving lands. All right. But if I don't faint at the sight of them, you've oversold the view. Fight with impressive skill, I should say. I taught you well, I think. You taught me how to fight empty air, Billy, and trees and snowdrift and the like. No, I am certain I saved you from a snowdrift once, and a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is a man who's had one too many blows to the head. That tower there, it recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's. Remember? I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule Feast, I'll have you remember. It's good to ride with you again, Arstick. I told you, that was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Stavanger? Eivor the Pantless, a head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. A dragon's tail it was, then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen? Is that what you call your house? <laughs> Stonebur, was Trigvi not sent there by father to help? What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tend the wounded. We'll get them out. Things. Get to Trickvi! You'll be safe with him! Thank 
Thank you. Move! Move! Get to safety! Save my wife, please! Leave me be! Not me! My wife! Save her for- Oh, my dear Hilda. Why? I cannot live without you. I cannot bear to go on. Oh, my dear Hilda. Why? Ah, go up! Damn you! We need to clear a path. I will There's nothing you can do now. You get to safety. Open. Hold on to me. I can get you out. I thought I might have to rescue you, Willy. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Willy. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same ass stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinder Doomfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Billy, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Eminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Billy wasn't taking it well. Vili lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside, and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? Have you braced yourself for what is to come? I... I have made my peace with the future, yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Vili myself. Survey the area, Sunan.
Aid me. Be my eyes. You found my secret haunt. I would be deaf to have not heard you singing. Your crow's cackle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the Picts have worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. I mean, look at my father. A battle-worn veteran carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I would use just now. Not in his state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. Billy, you need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the Corpse Hall, you will take his place, as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You would always be welcome to live and prosper with us, but that is a matter between you and your father. I could make the old man understand. But I have no desire to be Jarl, and he must accept that. You defy a long tradition, Billy. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor... I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England, and you are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! Another attack? It's your father! He hasn't got long! Come to the Longhouse! Heminger Jarl is at the edge of death. I must see him before he goes. to that feeling and take it with you to the hall of the slain you have become a great warrior a form a warrior and a leader worth worth song and verse i had many good teachers hemming y'all you chief among them i beg of you now do not let my lessons die. Pass them on. 
The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh from your mother's womb. I watched you grow. A dirty-haired boy. Swinging sticks and running through the mud. Dreaming of glory. I... I am proud of what you have become, son. <laughs> And I am proud, proud of what you will become, no matter how... We must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of this shire. The nobles have begun to arrive. Trukvi needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. Go, Zulin. against the pigs without him. Yeah! sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemming Gurjav. The celebration will last many days. How soon shall we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trukve. I pledged my life's oath to Hemming Gurjav. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the shire to see. You've done well, Trigvi. This was his favorite spot in the Shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later. 
to save you from them once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigvi is Hemthorpe's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He is a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have the time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> it was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of hemming a Jarl. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Hemming had desired my counsel before he died. Wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It's a good idea, but let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety. is an excellent shield. And here, from the Raven Clan. An impressive shield. It is good, but it needs a touch of grandeur. Something personal for your father. A setio, I think. A mark to adorn the front. We need an artisan. Is there one in the village? I know a man. A master craftsman in exile. He lives in a cave northeast of Hemsop. I would take you there myself, but I have Isbjorn to retrieve. Isbjorn, your father's spear. Did he not wield it at Ulkerthorpe? He lost it some winters back on a bear hunt. He hit the beast hard, but the spear stuck and the bear fled into the forest. And after all these winters, you hope to find it again and present it to the pyre. The arts are narrow, to say the least. <laughs> Fret not, friend. I have a nose for these things. Seek out the exile. He'll see to your shield. This is an excellent shield. Gunnar's craft never disappoints. Value is solitude, living in a hole such as this.
Odin's beard. You are a difficult man to find. Uh. Heminger Jarl is dead. I was told you are a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Heminger Jarl. The stones. Heminger Jarl possessed a steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same? steady, as it was large. You have not yet answered me. Will you help me with my etching? How will you remember him? By his wisdom, always an inspiration. The web of Weir's then. Nine lines that write our fates. Past, present, and future entwined. Is this what you desire? I still need to consider. By his unrivaled prowess on the battlefield. Ah, Gunknir then. Odin's faultless spear. A symbol of power. Is this your choice? Yes, I choose this one. I will begin. How did you come to be here? Fate. I was given a death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. But a man was killed. Heminger Jarl desired for me to live. The villagers did not. My sight and exile. That was our compromise. Thank you for this. His son will take his place. That is for Vili to decide. Vili has no say. Fate has already decided. Heminger will be pleased with our gift. I wonder if Vili has found his spear. that sobbing sack of meat with the roosters? What an arsehole. This is an outrage! Our strong feelings for Hemming. Festive. Too festive. And too soon. Fires, fights, and every man soaked in meat. Ugh, this has gone too far. Hemthorpe could burn before the pyres lit. Gods, have I failed, my dear Jarl? Peace, Trukvi. I will do what I can to calm things. Have a look, Sunin. What a perfect figure you have. Poised, powerful, perfect. Me? Mm, yes. 
I cannot help but wonder, is your flighting as striking as you? How do you mean? I draw smiles from the women and winks from the men. I'm a poetry lover who's scaled with his pen. If you fancy a round, then approach and come speak. If you're lustful for verse, then I've got what you seek. No, thank you. Pity. Come back if you change your mind. Thank you, mighty Thor. You've saved my life. Uh, when you sober up, steer clear of roosters. I didn't see them coming. I never looked down. I never saw them coming. You've written. I will flight with you. Perfect. Would you like to make it uh, interesting? With a wager, I mean. My wager? Thank you. Are we ready? Let us begin. What know you of the power of fleets to seduce? Are you even aware that they have such a use? See, your weapon lies not in your belt, but your head. You're a fool and a bracket and simply obtuse. Hmm. Expected you to be a bit smoother. No matter. Let's keep at it. I could feel when you entered, the room became warm. Though I doubted your flighting, I quite liked your form. On your every word, I can say that I'm hung. I'm as good with my lips as I am with my tongue. Yes, more! I could fleet more sweet nothings inside of your ear. Though I warn you, there's some of the lewdest you'll hear. But instead of just telling, I'll happily show. You are not so appealing, and thus I say no. You're brilliant. Are you certain I can't convince you to tarry a moment? We uh, could go somewhere and... Um... It was only a flight. My winnings, please. Yes, of course. I was only... It was just a game, yes? Friendly banter? It's been a true pleasure. Zunin, guide me. How dare he insult our culture? He's a dead man if I ever get my hands on him. Help! Fire! Save my Voldite burns! What is this Voda you speak of? A gift without price, fit for a Jarl's lips. But hurry, it catches flame! This is your Voda. I managed to save it from the licking flames. 
You dared Surtur's heat, yes. A most potent drink. Distilled from grain by the roots of Kiev. Dip your horn and have a drink. A bit of drink in the belly, never heard. A bit of, a bit of drink in the belly, never heard. What madness is this? You dare wash our beloved Hemingir with your filth! I asked you a question, friend. There's a Saxon within. One stupid enough to try sending Hemingir to heaven over Valhalla. Now he cowers behind a locked door! I only did right by his immortal soul! You will get what is right for you! Calm yourselves, all of you. I will speak with him, unmask his true intentions. Get that stain out! The people are quite upset. Leave me be! I did nothing wrong! You should walk out of here on your own, before you cannot walk at all. Yes, yes, I'll walk, I'll walk. Don't hurt me, please! There's a key there. If you open the door, I... I will follow you out. Oh my god! You've got the key! Use it! Get that stain out of here now! You pay for your wrongs, desecrator! Enough! Let him speak to explain himself. I loved Heminger! I swear! I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God. So you drench his body with your filth waters? Was it your Christian holy water? Of course. I anointed him in the name of the Lord. Heminger was never one to weep over a bit of rain. Neither should you. He insulted our noble death. Hemminger would laugh at the very idea. Some order seems to have been restored. Now to trick me to let him know. I've calmed the guests as much as they can be in their grief. They mourn. It is to be expected. Still, thank you. And how do you feel, old friend? I mourn more deeply than most, I think. Heminger would be proud of what you have accomplished here. All you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, Trukvi. With time. Yes, it will. You are the wolf-kissed one, the raven of battle whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice Hemingway left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. A slaughter must be made. Many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jutten, before the pyre is lit. Follow. Come, creatures. You are to serve the gods and bid them welcome our beloved Hemingoriak with ale and open arms. <laughs> 
Do you have the gift of foresight, Seer? Can you argue what is to come? I see what need be seen. When it need be. A great gift. A great burden. Did Hemingway Jarl consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? We spoke often. Yet too often he left with more burdens than he brought. He worried about the future of his clan. About who would be Jarl. Speak less. Lest our words draw foul spirits to dog us. As you wish. Volva, I... Your heart is restless. Your mind clouded. You seek more than a guarantee of good omens. I seek the god's wisdom. You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Jarl? I do. Between Vili and Trukvi, there's no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. Ascend the sleeping Jotun, consume the waters, and meditate at its peak. Do not seek answers to your questions. They will find you. Show me. This is the summit. To seek an answer, I should clear my mind and still my own. flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's Hall? I've well in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. I struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. 
I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Heminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We are only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my fate then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. Not how I remember you. You left me too soon, Hemingayal. Your shire's fate is uncertain. I trusted you to make the right decision. I still do. You pushed me, Heminger. I never intended this. <laughs> Have no regrets, save for it. You have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up? Consult the Volva. And were your questions answered? Some questions were answered. Others, I must answer myself. Do you think there's a place for Vili in our settlement? He expressed a desire to live and work with us. Will he not be Jarl of this Shire before the day's end? That remains to be seen. Some are more eager to see Trikvi in the high seat. Eivor, Trikvi has no intention to lead. He feels duty-bound to follow his master into death. Absolutely not. My father would never allow such foolishness. How else can I honor my Jarl, old as I am? This is no country for me. The future is yours, Vili. The frames of this pyre will burn for my father. You must live. I forbid you to follow him into death. I will not let you sacrifice yourself. Do you forbid me as a friend, Vili? Or as our new Jarl? As a man who would see you come to your senses. Vili. Trick me. Each man wears one of Hemingas' boots, with both men unwilling to seize the other. Does the world need 
with such useless dithering men. Why not stake a claim yourself? Take this shire for your own. It is not my place. Your place is anywhere you lay your head, any hill you summit, any silver you take for your own. Do not limit yourself to niceties. It's Nottinghamshire deserves a leader to admire, a man the people can trust. Most love Billy, and he loves them, but he lacks the will to be leader. He could learn, but does he wish to? And trick me. Sturdy and wise and loyal to the legacy Hemminger Jarl left behind. Almost to a fault. But he is old, and his thrill for living has fled him. Hardly inspiring. You cannot! I will not allow it! I am not asking for your permission. Only your forgiveness. Gods, Eivor, put a stop to this fool's death wish. This is no small decision, Trukvi, and not without great cost. The Shire will be diminished without you. But I... I have nobody left. My life's purpose lies dead upon that pyre. That is not so. When people look to my father for guidance, who did they see him turn to for counsel? Heminger Jarl was my rock. Yes, I gave him counsel, but he made the hard choices. If Heminger were here, would he not urge you to wield this wisdom for the betterment of all? Was your vow to serve Hemminger Jarl unto death, or to serve his legacy in life? I will stay. You have wisdom, Eivor. More than I could have guessed. Eivor! Mm. Suniva! Pigs were spotted moments ago, lurking in the thicket. Ville gave chase. Ah, oh, stick! He should have roused me first. Show me where I went. Let us wake the others. The dark is lousing with pigs. I can take them on myself. Tell me where. They're not far. I'll show you. His rage has consumed him, Eivor. All this anger, this sadness, it has truly taken form. Our stick was never one to temper his emotions. This was bound to happen. I should have been more vigilant. Do not blame yourself, Drenkur. He always had me to watch his back. His children, and again now. If this rampage is what he needs to rid himself of the sick that binds him, I will at least make sure he does not hurt himself. <laughs> Thank Odin he has the mighty wolf kissed as his shadow. There are things we do for family, Suniva. No questions asked. For you, I would have done the same. For any of the Raven Clan. We know, Drengur. That is why we are sworn to you. Here, Eivor. This was where Ville saw the scout killed and then charged after the enemy ahead. I will head back to Hemthorpe and make sure our Ravens stand vigilant. Return.
They're gone. It is done. Oddly enough, so have I. Footsteps. We need to fall back. Follow me. Quickly!
it not? Just like when we were children getting into trouble and getting away. Save your honey words for when we get out of here alive, Arstick. I saw it's Thunderhammer. That quickened the blood. Wild and reckless, like our first battles together. Remember the island north of Stavenga? I do. Kjertve the Cruel trained his berserkers there. Great lumbering fools, foaming at the mouth. We taunted them from the treetops. <laughs> and the drunk one, remember? Naked as the morning. Froze his cock off trying to find us. Then fell to humping a snowdrift. <laughs> <sighs> Were you glad to hear from me? I did wonder what trouble you'd been up to. But I smiled at hearing your name. And I wondered if you had taken after your father. If you were now leading your clan. Well, you have your answer. I'd sooner take after a troll and leave this clan in your hands. That I will not do. <sighs> when my father was named Jarl, he had no one to help him, and still he triumphed. But I am not my father. I... I simply want to roam. Do you think Slipnir would be content bound to a stable? No matter how glorious it may be. Hey! What is that for? You have friends, Vili. And what about Trukvi? And me? And your clan? Of course. I know that. You can't roam forever. Keep that in mind. You are surrounded by those who love you. And that will not change. Unless you push it all away. You... You speak a truth, I understand. Troll-faced arstick. <laughs> a chicken draugr. Is such a thing possible? For that does not seem possible. Voda, too. A warder infused with fire. I do not lie. <laughs> Your father's death aside, Billy. This has been... good. Fun, even. Do you ever wonder what might have happened if we had not been separated by the North Sea so early in our lives? What adventures we would have had. The raids, the battles, the glory. I even think about what we might have been to each other. No, I never dwell on our past that way. I find it slows me down to crawl. And I'm not made for crawling. I think I'll turn in. Long day ahead. Where are you going? Uh, with so much on my mind, I haven't slept a wink. The funeral, the fanes... I should get back. I understand. I'll see you there. Lily... Gone already. To prepare for the funeral, I imagine. Danes, 
So many Norse. This will be the send-off Hemminger deserves. All the funeral preparations are... Eivor. My father sets forth on his final voyage. May the winds favor him. The nobles have offered up their funeral gifts. All but you. Present what you have, and the celebration may begin. I have it here. A shield bearing the rune of Gungnir, exalted spear of Odin. May it guide this great man's aim. Eternal be your war strength, Heminger. Drenched in battle dew, may you fight until the Sky Wolf swallows the sun. Stand at my side. Speak from your heart, Emina san. Today we mourn the passing of Heminger Jarl of Nottinghamshire, my father, our father. He was a towering force, a strength to fear and admire, now gone. Yet together we are the example of his greatness. I see him in each of you, his love for battle, but also peace, for wisdom, sorrow, and joy. His generosity, his spirit, in you I see his life, and his love of drink. Gods, did he love drink! <laughs> we are these things because he was these things. Father, we shall be to our children what you were to us. And when they are ready, we will meet you again. Give him a fine farewell. Sunila, ride to Hemthorpe and prepare the longhouse for the old thing. The next Jarl will soon take his seat. Given their Jarl a fine farewell. They have. None drink so well and so deeply as Clan Hemminger's son. The declaration of succession must happen soon, before we are too drunk and exhausted to remember our names. I agree. Call on those who must attend. The all thing will begin shortly. Hey, 
waiting for? You look uneasy. Burdened by grief. Drowning in mid. And paralyzed by a sword. I stand between that man and Hjaldo. You stand side by side, Willy. And one of you must step forward. My father placed us side by side. Because he trusted your vision. So what do you see? Drunk as you are, I see before me a man full of passion, vigor, and a love for his people. I see a Jarl. Your burden will get easier to bear. Take your father's seat and make it your own. I will. Good. Now let them know, Arstic. People of Hemthorpe, of Ulkethorpe, of Snottingham. Today I pledge myself. As my father was, I shall be your Jarl. <laughs> Heminger was a hero, not for who he was, but for the people he led. With Trigvi by my side, with all of you, we will have glory. You have already learned that people prefer shorter speeches to long ones, Vili Jarl. It will take time to wear that title with comfort. My father never swore a formal oath with your clan. There was no need, for you are family. Let it be known, the Hemingers and Clan Raven are true sworn friends from this day forward. Do you accept? Aye. Well? Be fair, be just, and call upon us often. Our stake. Sure, I will. Man, we don't want to know about this. It is time I return to the settlement. I bring fair tidings, Renry. Heminger Jarl in Snottinghamshire has passed, but his clan remains allied to us. Sad news, but you made the best of it. I saw my old friend Vili on my visit. He is their Jarl now, and he has pledged to aid us in times of need. <laughs> 